What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and our King Hakon the Priest Hater. And I've just realized that for this entire year, this, this entire year so far, I've not uploaded any video. I haven't even recorded any video, so that's something I definitely need to change. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that today. Now, um, I'm a bit bummed out. I love this this series so far, but I'm a bit bummed out about the whole succession crisis because um, I really don't know what's going on. There's, I, I, there's many people who have, you know, tried to help me, you know, you've, you've, uh, you've sent in uh, comments telling me, you know, maybe this is the problem or this is the issue, but I don't think any of that is actually the case. It does seem to be kind of just bugged. So I'm hoping that if I now change the success succession laws, that that will fix it. Uh, chances are just going to completely break it, um, but I, I really don't know what else I can do. Um, just as a quick re recap here, I cannot nominate any of my children. The only person of my family I can actually nominate uh, for the for any of our kingdoms is our sister Cecilia. Um, but it's so strange. It's so strange um, why I cannot nominate any of my children. So anyway, I could go for her. She's 38 years old, but she doesn't have any children of our dynasty. So, you know, it would only like prolong um, the problem, I guess, if she even gets elected. So I'm gonna try and do something else. I wanna go for primogenitor law. And right now, the only thing that's stopping us here is that there is someone, some of our vassals that are pissed off. Now I've already checked who that is. And there's obviously, you know, the two dukes in England. Uh, there's a chief of Lapland that's unhappy, but I think the only person that really matters for Norway is the Countess uh, Thorborg. And uh, she can be easily swayed with just a little bit of coin. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I think, yeah, we are actually able to change our law. So let's change it to primogenitor. Uh, I do, actually, if I click this, do I get the council consideration? I should. Um, oh, no, no one's voting on that. I think I can just do that. The oldest child of the ruler inherits all titles. Oh, wait. The oldest child, your successor will like the law, but other members of your dynasty will slightly disapprove. Wait, wait, but uh, we've got agnatic cognatic, which means... Um, women can inherit, but only if there are no eligible males. So my son should be the heir. He is. Very good. Very good. All right, so we've secured Norway at the very least. And now I wonder if we can vote for him for England as well. We cannot. Um, and has not previously changed succession law. We apparently have in England. That's a problem. That's a real problem. And then we... Okay, in Lapland we could change it too. Um, I think it's just this one chief that's upset. Um, but there might actually be... Oh, this guy is very upset. Outraged by succession law change. I, I get it. But let's uh, let's improve relations with this guy by just sending a little bit of money. Oh, wait. wait we do have that. Yeah. Um, why? Am I blind? No, there we go. I am blind. Yeah. Let's just send a gift. And now we should be able to change Lapland to primogenitor as well. Very good. Okay. Now this is not as important, but so right now we've secured basically all of this. We've secured uh, Norway, we've secured Lutland. Now it's just, uh, well, the English crown as well as Normandy that might be in, that might be an issue here, right? So that's the only title we're losing. Yeah, the Kingdom of England. Okay. So I need to find a way to have my son be eligible to be elected. Um, so far, I'm, I'm not really sure how that can be done, but um, I might, maybe now I'm going to destroy this title. I really don't know, but yeah, it, it's just so strange. It really is strange. Anyways, we'll be moving on, and I do wonder if my son has a shot at Sweden as well. No. No, he does not. Okay. Well, that's okay then. That's okay. We, we can, he will have a claim at the very least. So that should be good. All right, and we have sent out some marriage offers 
uh, Gudrid, our bastard daughter, is going to marry uh, Prince Anders the heir to Denmark. Very good. I think we've married up all of our daughters to Danish people. Um, at least that's what I remember. So um, one way or the other, uh, we will <laughs> we will be able to, uh, to to have an alliance with Denmark down the line. That's kind of uh, a given at this point. The price of decadence, the ruling dynasty of the Af Aftasid Sultanate has been overthrown by their decadent sultanate. Uh, has been overthrown, oh, hold, hold on, by the zealous and hard-living tribesmen. Uh, their decadent sultan has been toppled, freeing any vassals of their bondage. Okay, hmm. Um, I'm not quite sure where that happened, but yeah, look at this. Look at the Al Almoravids. They're incredibly powerful over here. It's just Navarra holding out against them. Then we've got Sicily doing some real work here in, uh, well, in Northern Africa. And then... Well, Arabia is still very powerful, and the Seljuks seem incredibly strong as well. But so far, they've not really managed to, you know, penetrate into Anatolia. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool. Anyway, our spymaster has apparently died. C Count Swain has has died. He died of an affected wound at age of 29. That sucks. That sucks big time. Okay, so now we got to pick someone else. I don't know who to pick, to be honest, but maybe this bishop. Mm, what What is my relation? I don't really like him all too much. Mm, I don't like anyone, really. This guy, Chief of Yemplant. He's a he's possessed and depressed, but he is content. This guy's a genius, though, but cruel. I think I'll take this guy, John. You'll be my spy master, and you're just going to go ahead and scheme. There we go. All right. Now, I don't think I have any of my men raised... No, this is just my retinue that needs to restock. And what kind of men do we have here? We just have heavy infantry. Okay, we could just keep going with heavy infantry. I think I might because these are the Haskal units. So uh, let's, let's just build them. Yeah, there we go. And we don't need to lead them though. All good. All good. All right. So, um, Hafrid has finished education while in our dungeon. She is... She is some... Oh, yeah. She is some Swedish girl. Can she be ransomed? I'm not certain. For 10 gold. No. You've got no interest. This new duke has no interest. But she does have a claim to the duchy. You know what? We might just recruit her, honestly. Um, We'll see what we can do with her. I mean, she does have a claim to a duchy. So, you know. That could be good. Alright, so our wife is currently putting down this rebellion. Finnmark has converted to Catholicism. I'm not sure if I had my... No, you have you researching cultural tech. Okay, well, this is obviously... Actually, this is kind of a problem. This was the last Germanic um, province in our own lands. Now, all of them have been converted. And that is, that is, that is actually pretty bad for us. Because, um, yeah, we want to obviously... We're interested, at least, in converting... So, um, I kind of would like uh, to keep some Germanic provinces, of course. Yeah, Duke Wolfmer returned and brought with him an old metal box. He has proved that the bones within within it once belonged to St. Sassanius, who was murdered in Diocletian's Great Persecution. Alright, I de definitely totally butcher those names, I apologize. But um, anyway, you can read it for yourselves, obviously, so you know what's going on. Um, now, finding artifacts is what I pay him for. He will be disappointed. We will get remains of that dude. Uh, and the rumor, rumored artifact thing will be removed. Okay, we can reward him. He has earned my favor. Um, do I really want to disappoint this? I mean, he did a good job, but it is his job. Um, then again, we're a charitable guy. Let's, let's make sure that he's rewarded. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and that means we have something new in our treasury. Let's check it out. We've got the remains of St. Sassanius. A small box containing the bones of a child. They belong to Sassanius who was murdered at the age of, age of 8 during the persecutions. Okay, wow, cool. Um, what does it give us? It gives us monthly prestige. Oh, that's good. And same religion opinion. But apparently... Um, yeah, okay, no. It's only active if we publicly practice um, a religion, the Christian group. 
Okay, so... If we do switch, that's kind of going to be pointless, but... Alright. A blessed has passed. Ale of Orknear lived a pious life, truly following the example of God. He passed on April 20th, 1124, and people have long wondered if he would be considered a true Christian or not. A large ceremony is held in the honor by the Pope to celebrate the life he lived, a virtuous exemplar of true Catholic. The Pope will write his name in among in among the pious Christians of old. A bastion of piety in life, a stalwart example in death. Blessed be his memory once again in the arms of God. Very cool. That's one of our fellow countrymen. He's beatified. Okay, he was actually, I think he was one of our, yeah, he was one of our really good and loyal vassals for a long time. How's his son? His son seems to be pretty, pretty cool as well. I like that. Anyway, let's quickly check the succession here again in England. I might just have to destroy the title. I really don't want to, but I might have to. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll vote for for my uh, for my sister. Now, one thing I, I will do, one last resort I have, is I can give lands to my son. I want to do that once he's of age, once we once we have him married off. Um, but I'm curious about his faith. Yes, that's exactly what we want to do. Uh, what we want to ask. Um, but yeah, so I, I want my son to be married off, and then maybe uh, I can I can give him some some lands. Okay. Uh, he was happy to tell me more about the Germanic faith, while also not sparing a few questions for me about being a Catholic. We ended up having a very interesting theological discussion. Often, uh, not not often, awesome. That's exactly uh, what I've been what I've been gunning at anyway. So very good, very good indeed. Our retinue is slowly replenishing here. It's actually pretty slow. It is very slow. Can we increase that somehow? No, it's already full on the on the highest level, I guess. All right. There's a couple of things we can go for. We can we can actually press our claim for the county of Holstein for our friend. I mean, you know, I would. I would. It's just that, you know, great conquest of Denmark. You are very powerful and so is... Kaiser Order of the Monk. It is time to show them who's the strongest. By spending a significant amount of prestige and piety, you can go to war for an entire kingdom as long as they are as strong as you or stronger. Oh, interesting. We could go for the Great Conquest of France. Oh, well, that's only two provinces. Great Conquest of Germany. Oh, my. We could go for the Great Conquest of Germany. Damn. That would be something... Uh, except we can't. Um, our pres our piety is not high enough. Ah, we need a thousand five hundred piety. Yeah, well, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. But that's so cool that this is actually an option. Okay. And then you, you're a crusader and excommunicated. We could claim your lands. Yeah, I don't think I will. I would like to offer vassalization. Small difference in rank, not my de jure liege. Hmm. What if I lift your excommunicate? Okay, that's not gonna happen. Alright, well, I'm not gonna declare any wars right there. I kinda I'm kinda unsure what my plans are. I, I would love if I just wouldn't lose my titles. I was kinda going for this empire thing. Um, you're Swedish. Oh, you would actually become my vassal. Sure, let's let's ask you. Why not? There you go. Very cool. We've just gained a vassal like that without much trouble. I love that. Okay, young Ranvald seems to love ordering and counting things. Coins especially. Oh yes, make him diligent. I think that's a really good idea. Let's see if that works. Uh, it did. He's patient and diligent. Very, very nice. Now he could also become kind, content, or trusting. Not sure... They're probably not that good, but uh, Rommel seems to, you know, become a really great kid. Alright, now as he's grown old, I can see that Rommel could use some guidance. Um, ooh, it will require hard work and may not always be appreciated. We could become rivals. I really, really dislike this so much. Like, why? If I want him to deserve greatness, why would we become rivals? It's just, I, it's so, I just dislike that so much. Man. 
I really hate that. You know what? I do want to, I, I do want him to be ambitious, you know? This is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Ronald. You know, this feels like something our, our king would do. We want the best for our land. We want the best for our, for our dynasty. You know, it's a tough decision, you know. But having, having our son be ambitious is, is going to help him. Look, look at all the stats he's going to get from that. Okay, we're gonna make a self-sacrifice for the good of the realm, basically. There you go. So our son is gonna hate us. It's really, it's really bad. Um, but, you know, that's the way it is. And I could make you a cupbearer. Let's make you a cupbearer, even if you're my rival. And I guess, I don't think we can sway him. Yeah, he's not an adult, and I don't think we can sway our rivals. Anyway, our vassal is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. No, I'm not gonna give you any lands. I'll keep them myself. Okay, uh, invite you for festivities for his coronation. Sure, King Stefan of of Scotland will arrive. And uh, marked on multiple occasions of how it is important for a new ruler to create stable diplomatic relationships with his peers and subjects in order to ensure peace. Okay, there's a chance that we gain diplomacy. I doubt it. It's only 5%. Uh, but we did get some prestige for this, so I do like that. Yeah, but we gotta get home quick. Because our region's not that great. King Stefan kneels before the Pope. Oh, wow, the Pope. Alright, well, long live the King. There we go. And we're no longer on a journey. Our regency ended. Very good. Okay, so is someone trying to kill my son? Is that it? Seems to be the case. Do we have any knowledge? No. Don't have direct knowledge of someone trying to kill our son, but it seems likely. Okay, what else could I do? I was going to go for Grand Hunt, uh, but I missed it, unfortunately, because that's giving us prestige. Composing a book wouldn't be too bad either, but maybe I want to spend some money on building up our capital first. Militia training rounds? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's 100 men. I'll take that first. Okay, uh, monetary situation is actually looking really good. My daughter is now known as the Unfaithful. Okay, that's not good. She's an adulteress with Duke Johan Astrid, who is... Okay, well, at least it kind of stays in the family. We've married into House Astridson many times. I mean, this is an Astrid. It's just, I mean, this is an Astrid. And then this is an Astrid. And then one of our daughters... Okay, basically, we sent our three daughters to Denmark to sleep with the entire family of, of the House Astrid. And they're, they're doing a really good job. So this was the only guy I couldn't get because he was already married at the time. But uh, my daughter actually, um, you know, uh, she, she got him under control too. So that's nice. So we control Denmark, basically. Uh, I think that's, that's something we can say for sure. A troubadour and his wife have arrived... I hope they know Falcon Lead. Uh, this sounds so familiar. I'm not sure where I've heard this before. I don't actually know what it is, but like I've I've read this somewhere. Hmm. But yeah, I guess one intrigue. I don't know. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. Uh, I like it though. That's actually pretty cool that we get intrigued with that. Whoa! Holy shit! What happened here? The King of Bohemia just inherited Poland. Holy shit. Wait, he conquered as a claimant? Damn. Damn, look at that. The Byzantines are in a civil war again, but look at this. This is a this is a huge power grab right there. All of Poland. Can I please check direct vassals? Look at Bohemia. Look at Lotharingia too. Damn. Okay, that's that's kind of it's actually kind of scary, to be honest, especially considering that we have, you know, we have a tributary up here. So we, we kind of involved. Now, I really hope uh, Recall Fear is doing well. I wonder if there could be something else I could do for him to help. I could do for him to help him in his endeavors. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep asking about the faith, honestly, because that's the that's the one thing we truly are interested in. Now, he is unmoved. By my concern for him, he claimed that there is no point for him to talk about his faith in unbeliever. Oh, come on. That is disgraceful. 
That is very frustrating as well because, you know, I would love to switch. Now, someone also mentioned that there is a way for me to convert off of a holy site. But the problem is I don't know what the what the Norse uh, holy sites are. They're not... I'm, I'm not seeing that. It's not shown. I, like, if I click on Remova, for example, they're, they're highlighted. But since there's no independent Germanic uh, nation, I don't... I don't see it, and that's kind of annoying. But yeah, did you just conquer more lands as well? It almost seems that way. How did you get these lands? Conquer the Holy War. Yeah, indeed. All right, so are those? Oh, actually, this could maybe be the Crusade, like the the um, the German Germanic Crusade events. Um, that's a possibility. That uh, this is starting now, and there are. Uh, Eventually going to establish like maybe the Teutonic Order. Is that even a thing yet? No, we only have the Templars and the Hospitallers. Okay. Well, new successor must be nominated here. Um, okay, we have two people with the Lover's Pox. I'm not sure if I want either of one of those. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on that. Alliance between us and Duke Johan has broken down. We have no longer any marriage ties. Oh, because Ingrid has died attending chamber business. Okay, wow, and this kid was not even... Damn. This child was not... Wait. Wait. So, the father cucked his son. That's actually what happened. They... That's father and son. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, that's very interesting indeed. All right, well, anyways, so for now, I think I'm pretty happy with what we've achieved. It's basically just England that's currently on the line. I'm still hoping for a way to get that under my own control. Uh, I could vote for my wife, but, you know, then again, I don't see how, why that would be better than voting for my sister. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try and figure something out. I don't think we can actually change the succession anymore. Yeah, no, we've previously changed it. So we need to find some way. Um, I hope that this will be possible once uh, I can I land my son. I hope that then he's eligible to be elected um, for the English throne. We'll have to see. Anyway, that was it for this. I'll see you next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.